With the holiday season fast approaching, I feel obligated to share with you this information that could serve as a wake-up call to a lot of us. You see, during the Christmas season and the New Year, many of us will be preparing foods or ordering foods from delivery centers. We would be buying lots of food ingredients from the grocery stores. And these ingredients are one of the most needed ingredients whenever we prepare our foods, whether they be nourishing traditions or whether we order them from uh, fast food centers or from delivery stores. You see, oils are very much part of our dishes. Seed oils are the more popular cooking oils nowadays. And these seed oils are highly processed and they contain high amounts of what is called polyunsaturated fatty acids or omega-6. Now, this omega-6 contain what is called linoleic acid, which is pro-inflammatory. Thus, it is touted to be directly associated as cause for chronic diseases like diabetes, neurodegenerative diseases, cancers, and, and other dreaded diseases that many of us have today. Now, linoleic acid or omega-6 are seed oils. When heated, they form aldehydes like formaldehydes and also acetyldehydes. So that those formaldehydes, those acetyldehydes are said to be the causes of cancers because they are toxic. Normally, the body needs a certain amount of what is called omega-6, but this should be balanced with omega-3. Omega-3 should have three parts of these fatty acids and omega-6 should have one. So the, the ratio should be three is to one. But these seed oils have very high amount of omega-6, thus making them very dangerous and fatal. In fact, they are killing you softly when you accumulate them long term. They are killing you softly, silently, but surely. That makes them fatal. But many of us are consuming these seed oils. What are these seed oils? You have soybean oil, you have corn oil, you have cotton seed oil, you also have rapeseed oil, which is popularly called canola oil. Now, these seed oils are very dangerous because of the presence of high amounts of omega-6 fatty acids. What I'll be presenting to you is a list of these oils and the omega-6 content in them vis-a-vis -vis the omega-3 content. You will see that most of them have very high omega-6 and very low omega-3. The list of seed oils in the omega-6 and the omega-3 content are shown. And as you see, the soybean oil, the corn oil, the sunflower oil, the rapeseed or the canola oil, the palm oil, the peanut oil, the cottonseed oil, 
and even the safflower oil are the more popular ones being used in many of the homes today. You see, the omega-6 oils have very high content in these seed oils, and the omega-3 have very low, are low in content. Now, if you try to note, the coconut oil has the more uh, balanced proportion between the omega-3 and the omega-6. The omega-6 is only 2%, while the omega-3 is 7%. So the balance, which is 3 is to 1, favoring omega-3 as 3 or 2, and 1 for omega-6 are the more good proportion, so to speak. Now, other oils that are acceptable and have low omega-6 can also be used. Like, for example, the palm oil with only 10% omega-6 and the olive oil with only 9% omega oil can be used, but they are not acceptable to be used for high heat cooking. The coconut oil is actually the best. Now the, the butter fat is also ideal for cooking with high heat. As you can see, the butter fat has three percent omega-6 and 1% omega-3. The lard has also a smaller amount of omega-6, 1% of omega-3. Now the flaxseed oil has the 57% of omega-3 and 18% of omega-6. Owing to the imbalance between the proportion of omega-3 and omega-6 among these popular seed oils that are in the list, then it would be wise to really reduce your intake or avoid these seed oils with high amounts of omega-6. This will prevent you to have diabetes, hypertension, memory fogs, memory loss, and other neurodegenerative diseases, as well as many forms of cancer. What could be done to avoid this pro-inflammation caused by the seed oils? The obvious is we have to avoid as much as possible or refrain from eating foods that are cooked in these oils or that have ingredients of seed oils. If you go to the grocery stalls, uh, the grocery stores, try to see the ingredients of most of the chips that you buy for snacks, crackers, cookies, baked products, and in even canned foods. And you will see that almost all of them have seed oils, corn oil, soybean oil, um, canola oil, and other type of these seed oils. So it would be wise to avoid or reduce your intake of these seed oils ingredients. The other thing is you have to supplement with fish oil or you have to eat fish that have omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, but it should be the wild-caught salmon and the palapo and other fatty fish with scales and with fins. Or you take supplements, fish oil supplements, and there's a, uh, a better supplement which 
is better than the fish oil which is called a better source of omega-3 oil better than the fish oil is the krill oil these are small marine animals that are usually sourced from Norway now the other thing is take carnosine or better still take the primary precursor of it which is beta alanine I hope this equip you with the knowledge to be wiser in preparing your foods to feast this holiday season and even onward if you want to be healthy and to be well take note that most of the popular brand seed oils are not healthy for you but they give you chronic diseases long-term accumulation of them will give you this chronic diseases and surely they will be killing you softly, silently, and surely.